Welcome to Outrage 2019. Um, I'm Ashley Bird, the curator of the exhibition for this year. Um, it's an amazing array of year 11 and 12 work that we have here at QV Mag. We've been doing this show for the past 25 years. Uh, we're going to go on a little bit of a tour to have a look at all of the work um, here, here that we have at Royal Park. Um, so this little body of work here to start off with, the idea of having a monochromatic body of work with different works from different artists from around the state that are looking at uh, black and white in, uh, in drawing and in printmaking and in photography. So this just kind of organically kind of like fell together. Beautiful work from Hobart schools, Launceston schools and Northwest schools. So we're just going to keep walking around. So um, perhaps if we head down here, um, the good thing about Outrage is that we have um, an amazing array of different materials that the students are using. Um, this doll in particular is, is one of the only textile works we have and it's amazing to see kind of students that are doing, doing work in all different materials and mediums for their, for their exhibition as we head downstairs. So um, Outrage has been held in different locations, uh, in QVMAG locations over the past 20 or 25 years. Um, this is the first time that we've actually found that like, this is a real home for Outrage. Um, so we're actually able to have um, this space that is dedicated to the show. Down here we have a really amazing array of work. In here, um, this has become a fish tank, which was an idea behind having all these 3D printed fish that are responding to the idea of the environment and plastics. Um, so this was one of those, those ways of being able to display um, almost a full body of work by one student. And as we kind of come around here, traditional landscape and traditional still life, photography, uh, ceramics, uh, digital painting, um, you know, oil painting and photography. Um, photography that's actually looking at the environment, which is really interesting. And even when we get further along, we're seeing forestry, we're seeing kind of like these beautiful drawings of these, of these veteran men, um, as some of my favourite things in the show, they're amazing. Um, drawings by students in Launceston that are looking at kind of like the way that they interact in the world and the things that they want to talk about. Um, and then there's, then there's always these things that are great scale. We always have some bodies of work where we might actually select two or three pictures from a body of work. In this instance, the body of work was about five big paintings and one painting really has that impact. And through this section here, um, we have um, some really interesting um, work that has been made with different mediums, abstract work from some schools, um, and then um, this beautiful necklace, which is um, made out of paper. So um, again, Outrage um, continues to be this um, grab bag of all of the interesting materials that excite and influence students as they're doing their TCE every year, um, which is really inspirational to see. Um, and portraiture and identity studies are always a, always a big focus. Um, things that are kind of like that are digitally um, put together like this work here as well as these beautiful two kind of like you know um, faceless um, portraits that were done by an artist on the northwest coast um, they're amazing amazing things we're full of texture and then um, then we have works like this body of work here which is all about kind of abstract texture it's um, it's all about um, using uh, materiality in a certain way to have structure and for almost to have this organicness about it so it's almost like it's growing up the wall which I think is lovely to have more than just one kind of um, idea um, and then we have um, a couple of larger bodies of work in art rage so we have um, a examiner's choice when the examiners choose the work for Outrage, they actually choose an examiner's choice for Year 11, which is this body of work here, and they choose an examiner's choice for Year 12 work. This work is, um, is depicting all of the, um, the artists in this studio that um, influence the artists, and she's from the Northwest Coast, Kelly College. 
Um, and she's actually got all these people, whether it's um, Eric Killia um, and um, Anne Morrison and people, they're all artists on the Northwest Coast. So that's what she used as how for her inspiration. The good thing is we actually have for students um, all of the, um, the work and drawings and the, and the journals that are, that are part of, um, of her process of making her work, which is amazing to have that edition here. Um, so they're, they're really fantastic. So we head through into the, into the next section. In this darker space, um, we, um, we've created um, a space where works that use light, works that are video works, and works of photography, um, or works that have a certain mood about them can kind of sit into a little bit of a darker space where it's a bit more subdued. Um, video work is really an important facet of, um, of work that artists are doing now. Um, you find that students are using animation, they understand how to edit their stuff, and they're doing lots of stuff with, um, with you know, computer-generated imagery um, to make some amazing pieces of artwork. So it's good we can have um, a, a video rep representation of a selection of those video works, um, as well as um, works that have their own source of illumination behind them to just give that extra amount of feeling. Um, and then we've got things like these delicate drawings here that have taken many hours to do, but they're very, very small scale. A lovely thing. And then along this wall here, we have um, most of this is photography and traditional printmaking. Um, and here, in particular, these are uh, pinhole cameras that are made from, from photographic paper in little pyramid cones. And then from those um, pinhole negatives, they've actually been able to then make this positive. Um, so it's interesting to see how students in ArtRage are, are finding old ways of making um, and they're, they're recontextualising them in kind of in contemporary ways. So um, it's, it's inspirational to see how they're still using analogue methods of making. And into the next se little section here, where we have um, work that is taking photography into a really three-dimensional space, um, where they're augmenting natural forms and then printing them on acetate, um, and then having them in these almost seaweed kelp-like kind of configurations where you're looking through them at different angles with different light to see um, a, di a real abstraction of nature. Um, and there's also some man-made kind of forms that have been put in there as well to just kind of have that, you know, that uh, mixture of, um, of man-made things in the natural world, which is really fun. Um, and this little wall here is one of my favourite walls. We've got these beautiful little Little, these are all little character studies and little um, um, portraits and landscapes that have been done of Hobart and of places where the artist has been. She's from, uh, from Hobart. Um, and then we actually have like a hyperlocal. This is a street in Invermay. Um, and then over here, we actually have the portrait of, um, of somebody that influenced an artist. He was a teacher um, at, um, well, he still is. He's not a teacher anymore, but he's still around. Um, and he was a great inspiration for an artist um, on the northwest coast, um, as well as just beautiful, delicate um, printmaking. So yes, and then we, we head, head into the into the into the big room. There's a bit more of an echo, um, where there's lots of little there's lots of interesting things here. It's a nice grab bag of things. You look around and see so much colour. Um, traditional ways of doing pottery, raku fired pottery but really looking at vessels and objects that are a part of this, um, of this girl's um, you know, domestic existence. Um, beautiful textiles here, these, um, these masks um, are amazing. Um, artists that are doing, that have got such a great skill set. This artist um, is Irish and she made all of these, she made about five or six of these really amazing um, dragon heads um, and they're just gorgeous. So yes, yeah, so as we move around here, um, we've got kind of like um, painting um, that is more traditional and abstract. Uh, self-portrait, this artist did, his whole body of work was just self-portraits. There was probably about 10 of these. Um, but one big portrait is just amazing and you can look at it as you're walking through the gallery. So beautiful textile and embroidery, some small things, big things, small things. It's, 
to get that kind of balance. Um, uh, installation work that is, uh, is made of canvas and feels like it's growing up the wall. Um, this work here is looking at pixelation but um, using pixelation by painting onto bubble wrap. So really an interesting and innovative way to be able to use material in a way that you would ordinarily have pixels in computers, those kind of things. Um, and this guy is just so much fun, Mr. Triangle Man. Um, it's just such a fun piece of ceramic work from an artist at Hobart College. Um, and on this side of the wall, we have beautiful traditional drawing. Um, we have this wonderful body of work that was all about um, a, a younger, uh, an older sister's ultrasound for her baby, which was really amazing and lovely work. Um, and portraits done in different ways. A portrait that is neat, that is, is, is done in a traditional way with dry pastel, um, and the one next to it is one that's actually been done digitally. So that's all been done in a computer. Um, and as we just pop around the corner, we see some work here, which is just a beautiful series of, of work over these water studies that have been done with ink and gouache. Um, and then a piece of work that he was responding to the protests in Hong Kong. So Outrage is also about what's actually happening in the world the year that it really it happens. So people will respond to things that are happening. So next year there will be maybe a lot of work that will respond to the things that are happening in our world now, which is really interesting. And then at the very end, this is a really great way to end the, end the tour. This is the um, body of work for, um, um, for our studio practice. Um, and this is the one that was given, given the... Um, the nod as examiner's choice. These beautiful character studies that are drawings, they look like they're photographs, the texture and the, and, um, the, the surface of the skin is just so beautifully illustrated by this artist. Um, the great thing about this work as well is that we get this extra information for students to be able to have a look at exactly what the process was. So a process of where their inspiration came from and in here we have artwork kind of um, all of her all of her you know old sketches um, and all of the different little bits and pieces that she was doing as she was getting closer and closer to her body of work so we can see that she was doing some paintings and we can see also that she had did some three-dimensional studies as well so there's little three-dimensional studies um, and uh, and then to finish off with these five beautiful uh, pieces of work so there you go, <laughs> that is outrage.